Hi guys, it's Tracy here from Redwind Studio. It's uh, It's been a while and uh, yeah, I've been uh, trying to get this end table done and it wasn't going very well being stuck in my bedroom <laughs> trying to do it. There's just not enough elbow room to try and do that in my master bedroom and I have a fairly decent sized master bedroom. So um, I had to come into the studio to check on things and make sure everything was still all in one piece and nothing has happened to the studio. So I brought um, it in and did a, a coat of paint on the top of it. The legs are over to the side. They um, have a really small glaze on them, a really thin glaze that I put over top of the Elefante color that I was painting them. So I um, did a little bit of cast iron into some clear coat and put that on just to give it a little bit more depth in it so it's not just solid Elefante. So that being said, um, this was maybe the last time I took a picture or showed you guys, um, the top of this was in um, parchment and I decided to change that up. I It was just a little too light for me, so I have um, darkened it a little bit. I poured some cast iron into um, a container and then added um, a little bit of coconut to it and um, just a tiny, tiny smidge of um, chocolate into it and that's what I came up with was this color. So today I am going to be using some stamps on this because I want to create a wood grain and, um, and try and get a wood grain onto this. So, um, sorry guys, if you can hear that, um, somebody's trying to call. So, um, I'm going to show you how to do that and I'm going to have to take this <laughs> unfortunately and I will be back in just a minute and we'll continue and like I said it is going to be the um, IODs so these guys here and I'm going to show you how to use these to create wood grain on the top of this so um, pop back on I will be back in a couple of minutes and I will show you guys how to do this. Thanks guys. <laughs> 